Cougars on the road today, ready to raise the veil on football campaign number 16. 16 years ago, it all started in Fort Wayne under coach Kevin Donnelly with a team that way back then had won just two games. Well, USF has gone on to become one of the top NAIA football teams in all of the nation. And today it begins anew. Greetings, everyone. Welcome in to beautiful Oskaloosa, Iowa, along with the Judge Phil Houck. I'm Joe Parson. At the start of this ball game, Josh Miller in at quarterback to start. Antoine Campbell's the running back. The give is to Campbell, running room, cuts to the left of the 30, 30. Three-yard line and second effort got him up close to the first down stick. Fell at the 35. That's a good run to start the year. Zone play off the far side of the uh, the line, Joe and Campbell. Not surprisingly, uh, running the ball well. That is good for a first down. So uh, the Cougars going without a huddle. Here's the first pass. That's a catch by Kelso. Spins off a tackle. Gets up to the 40-yard line and all the way up to the 41, 42-yard line. Stayed in bounds and and again two for two on uh, good-looking plays for Kevin Downley's offense. Uh, on uh, something that's making him go fast. The Miller, Dew. stretch handoff, and there's some running room for Campbell. Busts it on second effort inside the 45 of William Pennant down to the 43-yard line. And Antoine Campbell will tell you that he had 240 carries a year ago and uh, ran for over 1,200 yards, 1245. That was third best in the conference in the league and ran for 11 touchdowns a year ago. Preseason All-American. First and 10 again, Miller swings it left side. One-handed catch by Kelsaw, cuts to the 40, got another two yards to the 38. And uh, Akeem Kelsaw was number two in the receiving column for the Cougars a year ago with 46 catches, three touchdowns, and 444 receiving yards. And he is perfect so far today, three for three. One back look. One one receiver to the right, that's the wide side of the field, longer count from line of scrimmage, Campbell looks, cuts it up, hit hard, but at the 30, and catapults forward to about the 28-yard line, and it'll be another first down for USF. Bit of a problem at times of a year ago with a lot of the legal procedure false start calls. Here's Miller rolls to the right side, taking a look, looks, throws, and he's got a man open. That's night. He's got it inside the 15 and down. Still second effort trying to protect the ball. He's to the 10 and maybe another yard close to the nine. Hey Joe, that's a great possession play. Uh, Aaron Knight was surrounded, but you know nobody close enough that they could get in to stop the ball and the. Wind is gonna. The wind is gonna be a factor today. Statesman with two safeties back now. They change to one safety. Here's a run left side, and that's a good run inside the five and down to about the two yard line. Should be a very good year for the offensive line. Seth Stewart operating as the lone running back. Stretch handoff again. Looks right side and second effort driving for the goal line. Touchdown, Seth Stewart. He got three yards and then three more to finish off the drive. And St. Francis very sharp. In this opening drive to start the ball game, they lead it at the 10:49 mark, six nothing. USF when they're good, it's kind of a new formation. I think we saw there, Joe, and it's uh, when you put three running backs in the backfield, and it's something new for USF. So now it's a new set of downs, option run again, and uh, Parsons keeps it. He is buried back around the 39-yard uh, line. Again, empty backfield with three wide to the left side. Here's a Pirate Parsons pulling the ball down, spun around, and they had him for a moment, and they do. Carden's got him wrapped up in sacks. Here's Beatty now, resets tight to the right side on second down and six. And Parsons option run to the right and uh, reads and hit hard. He gained a couple of yards into Cougar territory to the 47. First and 10 at the 11, so they can pick up a first down without scoring. Reed in motion, but they give to Sean Davis, and he's going to into the end zone. Sean Davis, nobody was going to stop him. He really has a point of emphasis, keep the pedal to the metal, but USF scored early and hasn't done much since. Loss of one, stepping up, Miller throws over the middles, got Kelso for a catch at the 29. That'll bring up third down and six. At 49%, here's Miller rushing, throwing on the run. Here's a ball caught into William Penn territory at the 46. And a great job out there. And Miller bided his time, just rolled to the right side until the pattern cleared. And that's a big gain on third and five. The USF Cougars pick up the first down. Cam Smith with his second big catch of the day. Joe. Too many men on the field, but St. Francis is not prepared to do that. Here's Miller. Pulls it down. One to the throw to the right. He'll run instead. And uh, he's hit by three different statesmen at the 30. Carries him forward down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Good yep. job by Josh Miller. Yeah, and I like what I see Josh Miller doing. Free yardage. Second down, a gain of two. 
Second and eight from the left side hash mark. Campbell again. This time a little better running room. Cuts to the right side. Inside the 20 to the 15. And up and down around the 13. They're going to say the knee hit back at the 14-yard line. Antoine Campbell gives you that great cutback ability. But Emo Eber will try his luck again. He missed earlier from 19 yards out against the wind. This one from the left, a hash mark. And this one will be a 29-yard field goal. And this time the left is there. And on target is Emo Eber. 29-yard field goal to tie the game with 2-0-1 remaining here in the first half. 10-10 tie in Oskaloosa between the Cougars and the Statesmen. Carvin kicks it. Didn't get all of it, though. This time it will be returned inside the five from the four. Return middle of the field, and here's some running room up to the 20-yard line, and then it abruptly ends just like that. But they'll stay with that double wing inverted uh, wishbone formation. It's a double wing alignment, and they'll run the ball again. This time St. Francis does a much better job. That time they kept the ball, and that's a loss back inside the 35 to the 34-yard line by Taylor Parsons, who kept it. Thanks a lot, Joe. Coach, uh, efficiency in the red zone. Two, team, two tough teams here in the first half. Yeah, these are two outstanding football teams. About what I expected. It's going to be a slugfest at the end. Uh, adjustments on defense for Cougars. Anything new you're going to try? Well, we're going to roll a safety down and try to get another guy in the box. Uh, we got to do a better job of hiding what we're doing, stemming up front so that they uh, don't select the right tool. And offensively, Antoine Campbell ran the ball really well in the first half. We're going to see more of him in the second half? Sure are. All right, good luck in the second half, Coach. There you go, Joe. We're two of five, William Penn. And an option run. Here's Parsons and pitches the ball late, and they've got the first down, and here comes Larry Reed. Parsons just got rid of it. No question whether he can get it there, whether it will be accurate. Here's the kick and a sailing ball, though, on the way. Got it. Miller out of the gun now with a snap again. Looks left, checks off, throws and into a spot. That's there, and Knight has got the catch. Just squatted down and caught the ball nicely and across the 30, has it out to the 30. Four yard line. And Joe, I don't think you've ever seen USF in that formation that they're in uh, right now. It's called the Delta formation. We'll talk more about it later. Almost an inverted uh, wishbone and cutback run by Campbell and Densing his way to midfield, trying to get the outside and tripped up from behind. He's down into William Penn territory, taking that ball down close to the 46. Colin Harrigan wide to the left so far. Miller's not uh, well other than that uh, completion. Spins out of the backfield, rolls to the right. Taking a look, he'll run to the 40 to the 35 and slides down. And uh, let's see, second down and nine. Miller stretch hand off again. Campbell cuts back to the right. Dances his way to the 25 and carries a tackler down to the 21-yard line. They'll move the chain. St. Francis again, another first down. Cougars bring in Josh Spitnell now at... He's tight to the left side. Campbell again up the middle. Looking for a hole. Fights his way to the 20. And he'll get another couple of yards down to the 18. Are they going to give him four progress to the 17? Yeah. Gain of four. Second and six. Miller looks right. Checks off. Stell time in the pocket. Flush to his left. Cuts. Runs to the 20. To the 15. To the 10. And it'll be first and goal. USF inside the 10-yard line of William Penn. Miller out of the pistol. Waiting for the snap, has got it, wants to throw. Pump fake and uh, escape the rush, rolls to the left to the 15, and carries tacklers down to the, close to the 10-yard line. That's what their coach's message was to those running backs, take him out of every play. Garrett Harvey did that time, save Miller. Gain of six, roll to the right side, and throw back to the left. They've got a catch by uh, Campbell, and go into the end zone. A touchdown run after the catch, 11 yards and all for the touchdown. Miller celebrating. He faked him out as he rolled to his right and threw back into the flats and wide open was Antoine Camp. Parsons out of the pistol and looking to throw. Drops, looks right, pulls it down and sacked. Hafner threw the air a year ago was 15 to 41 for 192 yards. Ball tipped in the air and it's incomplete. Sean Davis is in at fullback and let's see if he gets the call. Here they did get the playoff. Here is uh, Hafter wrapped up for a loss back around the 30. And with an elevated left foot, does not look like he his return is going to be probable. Uh, no trainer working on him. Here is uh, looking, they want to throw. Tyler Hafter looks, puts one up, and it's in and out of the hands. They had a man wide open behind the defense. Out of the pistol alignment, has a running back behind. He wants to throw. Looks being pursued again. Uh, spun around and dropped. Cougars drop him back around the 15-yard line. We're down in 10 now for Hafner under center. 
Looking option run. That one has trouble, and he's sacked back again around the 15-yard line. And two safeties who are a good 25 yards deep right now. Here's Miller again out of the gun, wants to throw. Looking, looking, throws to the right. There's a fingertip catch for the first down. Every Knight on the receiving end brings it inside the 35 down to the 33. So Knight went high, caught it on his fingertips, and gathered it in. And, Joe, that's under the level where those safeties are playing. I mean, all right, you're going to give that to us. We'll take it every time. First and 10 for St. Francis at the William Penn 33-yard line. Will they run? They will with Campbell. Cuts to his left. Gets into the second level. He's got a chance to score, and he will. Antoine Campbell with a play designed to only get maybe three, four yards. Cut back and carries it in from 33 yards out at the 808 mark. Well, that's the sound of a nail going in a coffin and uh, going up by two scores, 808 on the clock. And Antoine Campbell, nothing fancy here. We're going to turn around, hand you the ball, son, get to the second level, and then he turned on the afterburners very nicely, split the safeties. Uh, one safety had rolled up on the near side, so he only had to beat one, and it was off to the races. 7.31 now on the clock, second down and nine, trying to reach midfield. Hafner again, looking, oh. fakes, and uh, this time they did run the ball, but boy, I tell you, Keith Harris was there to nail him in the backfield. Never even got the exchange on the handoff. Nice play by Keith Harris, Joe, coming on a blitz. Outside linebacker. He got there as quick as the ball was handed off. That's a big time play for the Cougars. Now second down and short. William Penn shows blitz up the middle. They'll run the ball, and here's Harvey, and he is close. And second effort, and boy, that you almost broke free for a chance to score. Garrett Harvey looked like they had him stopped. Close to the first down stick, he'll run for another nine yards down to about the 37. So the Cougars now with the Knight up on the slot again to the right side. Clock is continuing to move. We're down to 435 remaining. Second down and long, play action fake, rolling to the right side. Here's a throw down the right corner. Knowles got it, and he'll score. That's a touchdown pass from Wes Hunsucker, who came in there in relief and uh, slipped in there at quarterback and throws for a touchdown pass of 37 yards. How about that? Matt Knoll, Matthew Knoll, the 6'2", 294 sophomore, was wide open. Knoll out of Carroll High School, and I'm pretty certain that would be his first career uh, uh, touchdown, and Hunts. Hafner is still operating and throws the ball, completes the Broyles, steps away from one tackle, got to the 30-yard line, lost the ball, scramble for it. St. Francis, do they have it? They yep. do. So even when they complete a pass, the Cougars come up with it on the turnover. That's the first of the day, I believe, as USF will work first and 10 from inside the 35 of William Penn. They've got three wide to the right, including Matt Noel with that touchdown catch a moment ago. Hunsucker rolls to the right side, pumps, being pursued, pulls it down again twice, will run for the first down. Wes Hunsucker doesn't do a lot of rushing normally, but that time, pumped twice, faked him out, throws him, and runs for the first down. They'll move the sticks. Coach, congratulations. 150th victory uh, as a Cougar coach. 16th yard. And, and as a defensive coordinator, I thought your defense played really well in the second half. Well, I want to compliment our defensive staff. Coach Widener, Coach Didier, Coach Ivy, Coach Grimes, Coach Wolf. Did a heck of a job. I'm, I'm really proud of them. Uh, great, great game play. Great job. Call a great game. Couldn't be proud. The up-tempo nature of your offense really, I mean, they were going as fast as they could in direct contrast to this option watching paint dry. How did you feel that worked out today? I thought it was great. It, it accomplished what we wanted to get accomplished. Congratulations. Um, I mean, we wore them down. And uh, Coach Donnelly, Coach Pat Donnelly, Coach Miller, I, I give them all the credit in the world. This was all they're doing. So. In, in, the, in the second half of this game, the safeties were playing so deep, I thought, for, uh, for William Penn. You found a way to take advantage of that. Was that something that you were watching? I don't know. I'm calling defense now. I don't know. Okay, you know nothing about football. Is that right? All right, well, we're looking forward to that bus trip ride, and congratulations on a season-open victory. Thank you. Uh, Antoine Campbell, great job today out there. I bet it felt good finally to start this football season. The Cougars have had a long way. Yeah, it was it was great to come out here and, you know, get, get some things done. We, uh, it's been three weeks. It felt like we've been in camp forever, and it was good to come out here. Kind of a slow first half, but we picked up in the second half and played Cougar football. You know, one of the things I heard in meetings leading up to this was that we felt that we were a very well-conditioned team, and you guys were running like 10 plays a minute at the start of this game. Didn't you get tired? You carried the ball, I think, about 29 times today. 
I'm going to be honest, I got a little bit tired, but, you know, your body can do a lot more things than your mind tells you you can. So I just went out there and played my hardest and tried to get this win for the team. How do you like running out of that delta formation? I like it a lot. It's going to be a great formation. We only have a couple plays in it, but it's going to be good first down the road. Phil, well, congratulations. Yeah, Joe. Let, me, let me give you some numbers just handed to me. Antoine Campbell today, 30 carries for 213 net yards and two touchdowns. Awesome numbers. And I've got another really top-notch performer today, Eric Humphrey. Long road back. How did it feel to get back on the football field and hit somebody in anger today? Oh, man, it, it felt good. You know, I was gone for a whole year, tore my ACL last year, so I red shirted. And it was just good to be back, you know. I've been playing football all my life, and to sit out a year, it hurt me. But I'm back now, and I'm, I'm only looking forward, and I'm, I'm loving it. All right, point of emphasis with this team was that was we are a very close family this year, and you guys have done a lot of things in the offseason to make that happen. What's different about this football team uh, that's going to hopefully just lead us to bigger and better things this season? Um, well, last year, you know, we lost we lost uh, some good leaders, you know. So now everyone, everyone realizes that, so we're all looking to – uh, throw into that leadership so everyone is stepping up trying to be that leader and it's just making us all closer well you got to the third quarter of this game uh, William Penn comes out they get a field goal on their first drive and they move the ball pretty well and then our defense Cougar defense really slammed the door did you, something new start happening out there on the field besides you getting a couple of big tackles uh, we just we just realized that this is is going on too long you know we knew we were going to win we knew how we had to win, and we just we talked on the sideline. We made a few adjustments, and like, yo, this this is it. It's time to really turn it on and bury him, and that's what we did. All right. Well, hey, congratulations on a great performance. Welcome back to football, and I know we're going to be talking to you a lot more this season.